When I think of ham hock, I think of pea and ham soup. But this recipe is a little bit different. This is a recipe that comes from my book, Dinner with Justine, and it's a salad using ham hock. Now, this is a one kilogram smoked ham hock. It has so much flavour. And it's as simple as placing it in a large stock pot, just like this one. This is about 7.2 litres, and into some cold water. Also, some onion. Now, I've got one onion here with three cloves. And I like to stud the onion with these cloves, just so we can find them later on. It can go straight into the cold water. And now I'm going to add a carrot. I'm not going to peel it. I've just washed it and I'm going to cut that straight through the centre. And that can go in with a bouquet garni. And in my bouquet garni I have typical flavours. Two bay leaves, a little bit of thyme and some parsley. And that can go in and the heat goes on. I'm going to cook this for about two to two and a half hours or until the meat falls off the bone. While that's happening, let's get on to the zucchini, which is another core ingredient in this salad. Now, when you're looking for the quality of zucchini, make sure that they're not too large. I know my Uncle Bill, he does grow sometimes some great zucchini, but when he overgrows them, they don't have much flavour to them. So into a bowl over here. Now, just get some olive oil. You don't need too much olive oil for this. You just want to coat each zucchini, so about a tablespoon is fine. And good pinch of salt. Cracked pepper. One to two sprigs of thyme. And then get your hands in there and give it a really good toss so all the zucchini rounds are coated. So now these are going to go onto a really hot grill pan, just like my one here. I know this one's hot because that thermo spot is solid red. And you want to give this one to two minutes on each side. You don't want to overcook the zucchini here. What we're trying to do is get that smokiness into the zucchini. All right, I'll actually do these in batches so I don't overcrowd the pan. Now, while they're cooking, I can get onto my vinaigrette. Now, this is just a classic vinaigrette. The only difference to this one is I'm going to add some horseradish. I love horseradish and ham hock. So that's about a teaspoon of horseradish cream. A little bit of mustard, Dijon mustard here. And some white wine vinegar. Now we need to emulsify this with a little bit of good quality extra virgin olive oil for this and just slowly Add it until it emulsifies and thickens slightly. So, pepper. And that's it for this stage. We're just going to wait now until the ham hock is cooked. I'm going to cool it down completely in the stock and then I'm going to pick the meat off the bones. So now it's time to put this whole dish together. And what I've got here is a French shallot and I'm just cutting it into rounds, really thin rounds, just like this. So this is going to be another texture to the dish and separate the rings, they'll look fantastic like that. And now we can start adding the ham hock. You can see that I shredded all the meat off the bone and I've removed the fat and the skin. And you can leave some bits a little bit chunkier than others, perfect. And now for the cooked zucchini, I can place that in there. You can see that's just been sitting there, so they've softened nicely. They've still got a good colour on them. And now for the other zucchini, I've kept here, reserved it. I've given it a good wash. And this is the raw component of this. It's going to be really fresh, crisp and still quite sweet. And we can mix this in, separate them a little bit because they're so thin they're sticking together. And a little bit of fresh parsley. I've given it a good wash. So I'm just going to finely slice the stalks. They can go in at this stage. That's got a really intense parsley flavour. And so do the leaves, but instead of finely chopping the leaves, I'm just going to run my knife through it a few times, almost use it as a lettuce leaf, so a big bunch of parsley can go in. Now I'm going to remove that whisk and two spoons, and then everything gets really good toss in that really tangy, zesty horseradish vinaigrette. And I'm just going to get another big plate here Pour that in there. For me, that's a pretty impressive salad that really shows off zucchini in two ways and uses ham hock in a different way. Don't worry about pea and ham soup. Been there, done that. Try it in this salad. It is delicious. <laughs>